these famous figures got the best big screen treatment. Welcome to WatchMojo UK, and today we'll be counting down the top 10 movies on British icons. Why? Before we begin, if you enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be highlighting the best films based on the lives of important historical, political, and cultural figures from the UK. Entries must be mostly focused on the icons in question, with brief cameos not included. And we've limited our rank to one movie per icon, no matter how many portrayals of Churchill there have been. Number 10, Monty Python and the Holy Grail, King Arthur. I am Arthur, King of the Britons. Whose castle is that? King of the who? There are many movies about King Arthur and his Knights of the Round Table, but this has to be the silliest. The first original feature length from the famed comedy troupe, Monty Python, the Holy Grail is an absurd and humorous retelling of Arthur's quest for the coveted Cup of Christ, filled with bizarre situations and a cavalcade of quotable lines. I blow my nose at you, so-called Arthur King, you and all your silly English niggas. It may not be the most educationally verifiable version of the Arthurian legend, but it isn't something you'll forget in a hurry. On second thoughts, let's not go to Camelot. It is a silly place. Number 9, Lawrence of Arabia, T. E. Lawrence. Often regarded as one of the greatest films ever made and winner of seven Oscars, including Best Picture, Lawrence of Arabia ensures that its subject's story remains etched onto history. Serve. I serve? It is the servant who takes money. Focused primarily on Lawrence's service during World War I, Peter O'Toole's portrayal of the titular character is still widely praised, and the film's iconic visuals and score are so burned into the popular conscience that you probably know them even if you've not even seen the movie itself. Number 8, Legend, The Cray Twins. Well, you can get away with a lot in life if you are. Keep your mouth shut. Portraying one real-life figure is tough enough for any actor, so how about playing two? Infamous London gangsters, the Quay Twins, may have been portrayed on screen before, but Tom Hardy was the first to play both Ronnie and Reggie in this 2015 crime thriller. And Hardy nails both roles, flitting between the seemingly calm Reggie and the gruff, psychopathic Ronnie. His performance highlights the similarities and differences between these notorious criminal brothers. Number 7, The Gathering Storm, Winston Churchill. A ghost witnessing my own demise. Of the many, many movies documenting the life of wartime Prime Minister Winston Churchill, this 2002 TV film was heaped with praise. Focusing on Churchill's life leading up to World War II and his attempts to warn the British government against appeasing Hitler, Albert Finney's portrayal of the future Prime Minister won him an Emmy, a BAFTA and a Golden Globe. Because of our disarmament, Britain is weaker. Bolstered further by an all-star supporting cast including Vanessa Redgrave, Jim Broadbent and Derek Jacoby, this biopic is hard to beat. See, he's erratic, totally unreliable. Number 6, Pride, Lesbians and Gays Support the Minors. Did you learn nothing on that march? You're still a minor. Tackling a pivotal time in UK LGBT history during the Thatcher administration, Pride sheds light on an unexpected alliance between the LGBT movement and the National Union of Mine Workers. Painting a comic but sincere picture of events at the time, the movie includes stellar supporting roles by British mainstays like Bill Nye and Imelda Staunton, along with star-making turns from George McKay and Ben Schnetzer. It's a standout tribute to a significant effort, which brought much-needed attention to both the mining industry and the gay community. But to find out you had a friend you never knew existed, well, that's the best feeling in the world. So thank you. Number five, the imitation game, Alan Turing. Ah, Turing, yeah. a mathematician. Correct. However, could I have guessed? A man mistreated by his country and often misremembered, Alan Turing's story gets the attention it deserves with this Oscar-winning drama. Benedict Cumberbatch stars as Turing, an early AI expert and genius mathematician whose machine cracked the German communications code in World War II, helping the Allies win the war. And what is it that we're really doing? We were going to break an unbreakable Nazi code and win the war. Cumberbatch brings out the brains, but also shows Turing's vulnerability within an intolerant society. History shows how Turing was later prosecuted by the government for homosexuality 
and this film only highlights the incredible injustice he experienced. Just because something uh, thinks differently from you, does that mean it's not thinking? Number four, Nowhere Boy, John Lennon. Cough Lennon. I'll show you cock. Everyone knows at least a bit about John Lennon, but this 2009 film highlights some lesser known parts of his formative years. Nowhere Boy does cover Lennon's early music and his friendship with Paul McCartney, but the film mostly tackles John's tumultuous relationship with the mother who abandoned him and the aunt who raised him. With definitive lead performances from Aaron Taylor Johnson and Kristen Scott Thomas, Nowhere Boy uncovers a rarely explored side of one of the music industry's most famous sons. Number three, Chaplin, Charlie Chaplin. I'm delighted to present Master Charles Chaplin. Covering the legendary actor's life from poverty-stricken childhood to his later years in Switzerland, this biopic from director Richard Attenborough pays homage to a true cinematic legend. Chaplin is played by Robert Downey Jr. in an Oscar-nominated performance, tackling the highs and lows of the comedian's Hollywood career and his often troubled personal life. It's not legit in the flickers. 150 a week. Though some critics dismiss the movie as glossy and bloated, Downey's performance was widely and rightly praised. The tramp can't talk. The minute he talks, he's dead. Number two, the Queen, Queen Elizabeth II. He was tutored by the same man as the Prince of Wales. Well, we'll try not to hold that against him. Helen Mirren and director Stephen Frears had a tough job ahead of them depicting a still-sitting Queen on film, but the final result was a royal success. Focusing on the events in the wake of Princess Diana's death, the Queen shows the monarchy and government in disagreement, while public approval continually swings. I think the Princess has already paid a high enough price for exposure to the press, don't you? Mirren bagged the Best Actress Oscar for her lead performance, and she even earned approval from Elizabeth II herself. Extremely high praise indeed. If you imagine I'm going to drop everything and come down to London before I attend to my grandchildren who've just lost their mother, then you're mistaken. Number one, the theory of everything, Stephen Hawking. I'm a cosmologist. What's that? It's a kind of religion for intelligent atheists. Playing a world-famous scientist might be a daunting task, but Eddie Redmayne wowed worldwide audiences when he starred as Stephen Hawking in 2014. Showing Hawking's life through his relationship with his first wife, Jane, the theory of everything follows him through his university years and ALS diagnosis to the completion of A Brief History of Time. My name is Stephen Hawking. It's American. The film, thanks largely to Redmayne's performance, brings one of modern history's greatest minds to the big screen for a story of love, life, and conquering adversity. That's better, isn't it? Yes. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and subscribe for more great content.